friends welcome back and uh, in this lesson I am going to share you how you can migrate from one hosting to another hosting okay so for this you need to first log in in your previous hosting with your username and password after that you need to click on the file manager so if you have uh, a single domain hosting then all the files will be in public HTML let me show you and if you have multi domain hosting there may be uh, either created sub uh, folder in your hosting or there will be in your public HTML directory okay so here you can find the public HTML directory and in public HTML directory there will be your uh, root domain files so I'm going to migrate my web host guru dot com okay so for that I need to go on that directory so here my web host guru dot com so as you can see all the files are listed here so after that uh, we need to first uh, create zip file of all the files presented in that directory so creating zip file you just need to select all and uh, hit compress button so I have already did that so let me show you how you can that do that so just click on the compress then uh, compression type okay zip and you can just go on below and just uh, rename that also okay so you can just uh, give backup okay backup dot zip and when you click on the compress file it will uh, generate uh, backup dot zip okay so I have already did that uh, to save the time and here you can see my web host uh, guru dot com dot zip is created so you just need to uh, select that uh, file and uh, then click on the download button so as you click the download button then uh, download will start okay so i have already downloaded that okay so let me cancel this one so this is the first step to uh, download all your files okay and the sen second step is to uh, download the database okay for so for database backup you just need to click on the php my admin so as you click on the php my admin then it will show the php uh, my admin dashboard and you need to select that database which you want to export okay you need to just hit on the export button so as you click on export button and export method you can just select on the quick method and the format will be SQL and just hit on the go button this will download all the tables okay so let me cancel this one this is already downloaded and this is this was the second step and the third step is to to log in uh, another hosting and same as like we did uh, in our old hosting to download the files here we will just upload our files so just go on the file manager and uh, as you can see this is all empty and you just need to go on the public html directory and in public html directory you just need to click on upload button and uh, you can see here you can either drop files to start uploading or select files so let me uh, drop the file okay so I have downloaded this one so let me drop this one okay so this will take uh, some time and uh, till that we can create our database okay so keep this in progress and we need to then for the database same as like uh, we did on the previous hosting go on the php admin here we will go on the mysql database wizard for creating the database okay just go on the database wizard and here uh, my web host g 
for guru okay and here you need to give uh, a name database name and just hit on the next step and then create database user let me create guru again okay and after that you need to create a password okay so either uh, for uh, you can create a password from the password generator or you can use uh, I, uh, you can uh, just type password here okay so let me uh, generate password from password generator and to generate password we need to uh, click on the I have copied this password in safe place okay so let me click on this and let me copy this one okay let me copy and just paste here you need uh, you can uh, paste anywhere okay this is for the demonstration okay so just use this password okay and you can see password strength is very strong and create user and after that you need to give the privilege like uh, this user and uh, this is the database selected so you just need to click on the all privilege and just hit on the make changes so you can see the complete the task okay so you have uh, user this one and the database this one so after that uh, we need to return home and then again click on the php my admin same as we did on the previous hosting in previous hosting we have uh, export the database so in this hosting we will import the database so select the database here and then just click on the import button and after import you will see here choose file okay so you can choose the file and this one and after choosing the file you can see their format automatically sql comes because the file is sql and if you have another format you can just uh, change the format here so we have exported in sql formats and then let's click on the go button and after some time the database will import yes you can see import has has been successfully finished and you can see all the tables are here same as like uh, we have here in previous hosting okay so here we have completed the third step also okay and then we need to change the configuration of our database connection let me check i think it's taking some time here when uploading file so the last step is to change the dns of your domain you need to log in in your uh, domain provider okay so i have uh, already logged in and you need to go on your actually it's big rock okay so you will see on big rock panel like this and if you have purchased from the godaddy uh, or any other place you just need to change the name server okay on godaddy or anywhere you just need to change the name server okay click on the domain and then you can see here the name server option is showing so you just need to change the name server okay paste here all the name server which you have got okay so after that you just need to click on the update name server okay so this was the last step but we have skipped the 
uh, this one so guys now you can see the upload is completed so we need to click on the go back button okay just click on the go back and you can see on the directory public html directory uh, the zip file is uploaded so just select the file and hit on extract button and here you on the public html just extract the files so this will also take a couple of minutes to extract the files so now you can see uh, the files all the files are extracted okay so just close this one and you can see uh, a new folder is created so you just need to select all and if there uh, the new folder is created then you just need to move the files so for the moving the files you need to select all the file and just click on the move and here uh, you will just remove this folder okay and move files so all your files will move to your uh, public html okay previous step was skipped to configure our database connection okay if you have a uh, wordpress then you need to change on wp config file and if you have other then you need to find out where to change the database connection okay if you have a uh, database okay and if you have a your html website then there's no need to do this okay so just click on the edit button okay edit and then it will open here and just paste on here okay and uh, you can see my sql database password and for so you just need to change the database username and database name so after saving this uh, website myworkforschool.com it's taking some time okay so you can see website is working and to check that we are getting the files or everything from the the new hosting then either we can check from the his data okay so he's okay you just need to search on the uh, google his and yes lots of website you can get his data okay so you can my webhostguru.com just hit search and check the dns record and you can see the dns is reflected now so uh, we are getting the website from the new hosting so this all was for the demonstration purpose actually i have purchased a new hosting to make some tutorials on the cpanel and how we can transfer our website how to change dns and uh, there's lot of things i have decided to make the tutorials so i hope you guys uh, got all the points and if you have any issue you can just comment on the video i will answer them thank you